Hello and welcome to the Heart of Markness Led Zeppelin podcast, episode 180. It's a weird day today. Queen Elizabeth passed away. I watched it at work, kind of watching the, the evolution of the Queen's Not Well to... I was on Reddit, basically reading uh, casual UK Reddit, so it was a bunch of British people. I like, oh... The newscasters switched to black ties. That's not good. Oh, everyone in the background is wearing black now. That's not good. And then I was refreshing the BBC website. And then it had went from a red to a black banner. So I was like, uh-oh. And then they made the announcement. And it's weird. It 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 um It's a little unsettling, even though I'm an American. Um she has been queen for my entire life of 54 years. She has always been there. She's been there. I remember seeing her with, you know, Nixon and Carter and Reagan and Bush and all of them. And it's just, it's, it's, it's weird. It did. I have a tre- tremendous amount of respect for her. You know, I think monarchy is kind of stupid in the the 21st century. We don't have a need for it. But it's also, you know, culturally, you know, for years and hundreds and thousands of years, we've had a monarch ruling. Great. Not my thing. Different cultures, different strokes, different folks, different folks. I don't know. You know what I mean? Um, But it 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 made me it made me unhappy because she seemed like she was very, very smart and very, very capable and ridiculously dedicated to her role. I mean, I remember watching a show, must have been PBS, um, 10, 12, sometime in the last 15 years, let's say, that kind of went through a day in the life of Queen Elizabeth, who was old back then. And how she was, every moment of the day, is is as queen for the country. And, and what an interesting life. Yes, she's tremendously wealthy, for whatever reason. Um, but, holy shit. She was not a lollygagger. And, uh... She really seemed to love her husband, Prince Philip. And, I mean, th- I work with, um, almost everyone, oh, everyone I work with is younger than me, <laughs> but I work with a couple of people who are just, like, early 20s, just out of college, if that, 21, 22 years old. And, you know, they're like, do you know that, you know, n- nobody who isn't white was allowed above the ground floor or the basement of Buckingham Palace. And I'm like, that's bullshit. But, so it's weird. It's weird that they, I mean, being young, and if I were young, when I was 20, I wouldn't have given a fuck either. But it's just weird to have that, um, you know, that constancy gone. Uh, I don't know. It's odd. Some of you are feeling it, and I mean, there there are people in the UK that listen to this, and you have my condolences. It's a weird time. Um, regardless of how one feels about Charles, he's he's no Elizabeth II. So we'll see what happens. Shit's crazy all over. Maybe uh, Terence McKenna once said that. Remember the Mayan calendar prophecy: the world was supposed to end in 2012. Terrence McKenna said it wasn't that it was supposed to end. And he, he was saying this in the 80s, so it wasn't. He's saying that after 2012, it's like the, the, the script of the universe runs out. Like Game of Thrones, when they ran out of the book material and had to wing it and it turned to shit. Um, he said there would be he said there would be a substantial and almost geometric geographic, geomet- whatever the giant progression geometric progression um of novelty and not novelty like whoopee cushions and you know hong kong can buzzers but shit that one does not expect 
like uh, Donald Trump being president. I mean, if you went back 20 years and said, hey, think Donald Trump will be president? Not a lot of people would have said, absolutely. And I am going to paint my car with the American flag. I'm going to fly 11 flags on my truck, seven flags in my house. You know, people had no idea. And just everything's weird. All right. Shake that off because I'm not going to get political, and, you know, and none of that was political. I'm not evincing an emotion or an, or an opinion rather, but rather an emotion of like, it's crazy. Uncharted waters in a lot of ways, but, uh, rest in peace, Elizabeth, the second best of luck, Charles, the third. And we have today that wonderful Odense recording, Denmark recording from uh, May 4th, 1971. That was released uh, by Empress Valley as a bootleg. And what makes it great is that it's a very good recording. And it has an awesome recording of those rare, rare songs, Four Sticks and Gallows Pole. And my goodness, it's good. Now, here is the caveat. I cannot find this anywhere online to download. That's because it was released as a physical bootleg and um, it just hasn't made it to the trackers yet. Might be a while. I tried to hold out, but there were some good people who took the trouble to rip the YouTube video and break it up into tracks. So this is a lossy sourced recording. I will not be sharing this. I will share it when it comes out in full lossless. I will let you know whenever that happens. You can go to heartofmarkness.com and grab this. But I will not pollute any potential trading pools with a lossy source that might get, you know, muddy the water further down the road. We'll hear it. And the good news is when it does come out on Dime a Dozen or wherever it shows up, lossless it will be better quality than what you're hearing because this is essentially a 128 um k aac file which is a low bit rate it's equivalent to a, like a 128 mp3 file um you can tell it's an mp3 in comparison to the to the source material but you can't really if you haven't heard the source material before. There's more out there, uh, Sonic-wise, that will come out when the disc finally makes it to the plebeians who aren't paying for it, which is you and I. So, all that aside, it still sounds great. It sounds exactly like the YouTube video. So, if you want to listen to the whole show, just Google it uh, or YouTube it and uh, search for Odense, and it'll pop right up. You can listen to it, and then you can rip it yourself. There are online sites, just YouTube to MP3, where you just drop the URL in and it'll spit out an MP3 of the YouTube video or an MP4. So you can have the whole show, no problem, yourself, if you'd like it. Myself, I am going to wait for the lossless copy and then I will spread it to you uh, as such, if that makes sense. We're still going to hear some today, but just letting you know, it will not be up on hardermarkness.com until there is a proper lossless source that I can put up there for you. I'm not going to do you wrong. Well, this show came out kind of, it's not related in any way to the Dogs of Doom drama that we talked about last week. And oh, speaking of that, one consequence of that drama is the... uh magnificent cloud drive that I was talking about last week that the Dogs of Doom shared to all their members had access to it with basically every extant Led Zeppelin date represented with usually multiple sources. Unbelievable drive. Unbelievable set of files. Great file structure. Easy to navigate. Wonderful. It is gone. Um, they have restricted access to it. Which I understand if there's crazy shit going on and you don't know who to trust. 
you're circling the wagons. It was a bit of a heartbreak because it was I've been spoiled for years now, I guess, a couple of years at least. At least, maybe even more. Um with access to that to just go in and go, "Oh, what show shall I do today?" Oh, this one seems nice, and then I look it up, and there's multiple sources. I can grab them, find the one I like the best, share it with you, and then transfer it to my cloud drive, and then share the link there, so I'm never giving away their link or taking up their bandwidth more than the one time to get it myself. But I exp- I, I imagine it'll pop back at some point. If not, I mean, I, I there are other ways. I have shows there's still Dime a Dozen, there's still Guitars 101, there's still The Trader's Den, there's still Royal Orleans. It's just sad. Several, <laughs> several ends of an era happening at once. So that made me sad a little bit, but I get it. And all, you know, all, all the great people that I, not all of them, most of the great people that I knew at Dogs of Doom are not active at the moment. You know, the projects are on hold. I mean, I'm sure there's stuff going on, but I'm sure that that's a separate, segregated, uh, sequestered group now. And, you know, I'm just a guy with a podcast. I'm not doing anything other than that. So Godspeed to them. And Zepfilm, my friend, you're a wonderful human being, and thank you for everything you've done for the community. You know, I'm sorry that people turned on you it happens i mean those of us i mean i remember seeing it happen over the last 20 something years plus years um in various ways somebody always comes along and pisses in the cornflakes and ruins it for everybody but um i do understand the motivation of being pissed when something that you have yourself of great value that has great value and you can use to leverage access to other shows of great value. I mean, the one thing this has shown is that we do not, Jason um, Peterson, the the founder of the Royal Orleans website, who sadly um, passed away a couple of years ago, kept the site going though, bless him, had said, you don't want to know what's hidden from you. You don't want to know what's in these circles. And just look at everything that's come out, been released out of spite and pettiness in the last couple weeks. All these shows, all this footage, they may show up for just a few minutes to be like, neener, 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 or being taken down because um, becoming Led Zeppelin is uh, apparently using them for their, they're re-editing their film, apparently, and and adding a lot more footage, etc. And um, just in the Blueberry Hill, look at that. That's something completely uh, not Dogs of Doom related also. Eddie Vincent, the guy that had that tape from a few weeks ago where Peter Grant took his recorder at the you know mid, after Black Dog. Remember that? Um, he, ha- he had a movie of Blueberry Hill, Super 8, and it's beautiful. And it is the typical Super 8. It's from behind the stage, kind of right behind Bonzo, a little to the... Actually, more behind Jonesy. Um, but it's unreal. They synced it up, and for seven minutes of, of not too choppy, you can hear the wonderful Blueberry Hill, the legendary Blueberry Hill recording, and see them playing it, and see you know Jimmy in his beard and his doofy hat, and uh, vest, sweater vest, and all this stuff that's just, holy shit, these are just kids up there being the most amazing band ever. And that's, you know, shaking the tree. That That is from that youthful exuberance of dogs of doom and those teenagers and young folks who just went for it and unfortunately as they went for it they didn't have the wisdom or the street smarts to uh you know kind of keep some cards close to their chest and then they did the innocent thing that i 100 percent would have done too that whole here you can have this but don't give it to anybody you have access. I get, I'll trade this with you, but don't give it to anybody. And then like, dude, look what I got. Don't tell anybody else. So it gets shared among, you know, a half dozen people. And then one of them gets butt hurt, and the whole house of cards comes tumbling down. All right. So much babbling. Holy shit. Have I been talking for 15 minutes? Let's listen to some Zeppelin. I'm sorry, guys. Lots going on. The queen died today. 
Not my queen, but the queen. So, let's listen. Let's jump right into it and let's get into Four Sticks. Odense, Denmark, brand new show courtesy of Empress Valley Bootlegs. So, thank you, bootleggers. And let's go.
The tepid Danish applause of what the hell was that? Um, Robert's voice. Oh, my God. This show. Robert's voice is incredible. I mean, it, this is it's incredible at this in this time of his career anyways. But just, oh, my God. It is just pure and strong. And uh, Zeppelin IV wasn't out yet, by the way. So they had never heard that song before. So that was just, huh? But pretty, 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 pretty cool of those four young lads from not Liverpool. Birmingham. Uh, I'm doing things while I'm talking to you. All right, we've got one more song. We have two more songs, actually. Let's get to the meat of it, because I took up so much of your time babbling earlier. I'm going to be terse now. We've got Gallows Pole. Excellent, and I believe it is played on the double neck 12 string. So imagine how cool that would be. All right, friendos. Gallows Pole, the other rare, rare song. Four Sticks and Gallows Pole only have a couple or a handful of dates that we have. And there's another one added to the mix. Thus making us stronger.
Holy shit, his voice. It's worth it to not really be able to hear Bonzo. Definitely not hear Bonzo's power. Although the stuff he was doing in the background was nuts! But Robert's voice, Jesus, that was amazing. That was amazing. I cannot wait to get this in Lossless. And watch this, Murphy's Law, it'll show up tomorrow. And that'll be great. So... If it does show up before I do the next podcast, I will let you know so you can go to heartofmarkness.com and get it. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook at, under the name Heart of Markness and YouTube as well. Heart of Markness, that's me. Uh, you can reach me at mark at heartofmarkness.com if you feel like it. And I mentioned heartofmarkness.com before. That is the website I have where I share the links to the shows that I cover. And I'll say it again. I will not post the link to the show until I have an official lossless source. I don't want to give a lossy source and pollute the trade pool. You can get that yourself and listen to it if you want. I just don't feel right doing it. So, it should happen. I don't imagine it taking more than a week or two, if that. Uh, so, no worries. It will happen. Cap'n. Now, on that heartofmarkness.com, there is a link for Patreon patreon.com slash heart of markness actually if you would like to become a patron of this podcast and help support it materially you are welcome to do so and if you do unless you tell me otherwise and uh, i've had two people so far stay under the radar and not want me to say their names and i respect that i will read your name unless you tell me otherwise so a laurel and a hearty handshake go out to brian matt stephen george big ed Kenny, John from West Footscray, Picard, Knegarn, Chris, Rob from Melbourne, Australia, Wayne, Brad, Danielle, Tracy, David, Bonzo, Billy, and Mimo. Mimo unfortunately had trouble getting my podcast last week on Apple because if you remember, uh, SoundCloud, uh, was having issues. SoundCloud was down for a little bit, and then it came back up, but apparently it was still intermittent. So when Mimo's, you know, Apple podcast reached out and said, any new podcasts? SoundCloud said, nope, not a one, even though mine was sitting there. So it took him a little bit until it refreshed, but glad you got it. Thanks for letting me know about that, Mimo. You're a good man. I've got one more song for you. It, it's 18 minutes long. No, it's not dazed and confused. It's whole lot of love. And the medleys, baby, it's ba 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 whole lot of love. Ba da 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 Keep your ears open for not only the, all the rock medleys that these are, guys are doing in the middle of the song, but also listen to the joy. And this is a Danish audience, so there may be no joy that you hear. But typically, when they come back in after all the medleys, and Robert does the way down inside, and people go, holy shit, I forgot I was listening to a whole lot of love. There's usually a roar and an, a big uptick in the energy. It's a very well done theatrical device to raise the energy of the audience, and I applaud the band for doing it. Listen up, it's great, and I'll talk to you in 18 minutes. <laughs> Thank you. 
have it. Another show, another podcast, and the end of a 70-year-long reign. Rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth II. And I will be back next Thursday with another Led Zeppelin or Led Zeppelin-themed podcast. And if I can fire up the gumption to do so, uh, maybe I'll do one over the weekend. Who knows? But thank you for listening, friends. I'll definitely be back next Thursday. Please be good to yourselves and each other. And bye-bye.